Hey, good morning. It's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am in my car. Um, this morning, hold on, let me set y'all down again for a second. I don't even know if y'all can see me because the sun, but um, yeah. Once again, starting the vlog in my car and um, I'm on my way to go meet Jonathan because we need to go to the bank because we need to get the earnest money for this house. Okay, let's go get Jonathan. We're at the bank. This is a wonderful angle. Hello. Hi. What's this game that you're obsessed with? Hey, that's actually kind of cool looking. Yeah, it is. It was like Battleship or something? Pretty much. Pretty much. So we had to come get earnest money. Blame Jacob. <laughs> they had to get the earnest money, cashier check. We had to get the option fee, cashier check. And then we're also going to finally update my name on my checking account to the married name. So we'll be waiting for just a little bit. Why would we do that? Why would we do what? To update the name. Well, it still has Smith. You're fine. That's the last thing that I haven't, I think I know. everything else is right. Been changed, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you play like Jacob or? Yeah, you can play different people. Cool. Q. Q, Q, Q. I'm at the house now, the new house, the one that we have the um, contract on right now, to check in with the inspector and to see what he has to say. I'm waiting on Jonathan and um, yeah, I'm excited to see. I'm pretty sure this inspection is going to go better than the last one, um, but I will let y'all know how it goes. I also want to say that I really, really love this neighborhood. Uh, I'll try to get like some shots of it whenever I'm driving out because it's just like it's super nice and super cute. It's like so much better than anything else that we've looked at so far. Favorite. Inspection is done. We will talk about it in a minute. I wasn't able to film um, at the house so we'll talk about it whenever we get home. But, but, I'm at Aldi because I saw in their weekly ad email they have these really cute like writing desk tables thingies and I want it and I can't first of all I can't pick it up it's way too heavy and I don't have a debit card right now because my account um, got like my debit card got skimmed so I had to have it replaced I haven't got my new one yet so I'm here with Jonathan and we're gonna go in and we're gonna purchase it just got home apparently jonathan is very upset and not okay about how the inspection went so we're definitely gonna have to talk about it so i'll probably end up having to do just like a recap with y'all and not talk to y'all and him at the same time because he's got some serious feels so um he said at aldi that we just paid $300 for an inspection on a house that we're not going to buy. We'll need to talk about it for sure. He should be pulling up any minute. I need to go start dinner. We're going to eat those keto tamales tonight, finally. The ones I got last week. Um, I'm excited to finally have them. But I just don't know how to heat them up. I really need a steamer basket, but I packed my steamer basket along with everything else that we own. <sighs> okay. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Okay guys, so it's the next day, obviously. You can tell because the sun is out now. Um, okay, so last night after I got out of the car, Jonathan, oh my gosh, my eczema is terrible. Ugh. Sorry, I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all can kind of see the redness right there. Anyways, okay. Um, last night after Jonathan got home, um, we sat down and talked about it about the inspection on the house and he was just feeling really like frustrated because the inspection didn't go as well as he had hoped um there were some bigger issues so the the issues that we had 
where the roof, um, there's something going on with that wall. You know how like the first house had the open floor plan and this one has the wall in between the living and dining? Um, it To me, it appears like they installed that wall, but in the inspection, it looks like there might be structural damage. And so we need to have someone come out and check that. And, um, ooh, that's cool. Sorry, I just got a text message. And so we need to have someone come out and check that. And, um, so... Jonathan is just concerned that we're going to be spending money to have another person come out and look at something on the house and then we may not end up getting the house because if there's structural damage, you know, we're not going to get the house, which means that we paid money again on something that, you know, didn't end up, didn't end up working out. So that and then the siding on the home is old and deteriorated and it needs to be replaced and then... um so those are like the three things, but compared to the other house, it's a lot better. Um, so yeah, Jonathan was just feeling really stressed out about it and feeling like, you know, we're never going to be able to get a house or whatever. So I didn't, obviously I didn't end up vlogging again last night. Um, I just, you know, we talked about it, we made dinner and you know we talked about it some more tried to relax and then i actually ended up going to bed whenever he went to bed so i didn't have a chance to wrap up the vlog and get it edited for y'all and all that so um i'm gonna go ahead and do that now but i just figured i would get on here and kind of i didn't want to just leave y'all hanging like a to be continued vlog because I mean, maybe i should no i won't do that to y'all um so yeah that's where we're at right now. So I guess the next step is actually going to be to finish the inspection because they actually had the attic door screwed shut. And so the inspector wasn't able to inspect everything in the attic, which is super important because that's where like the furnace and stuff are. So we want to make sure that there's no issues in the attic. And um, so we need to get with the seller to find out if he can unscrew the old, make him unscrew the attic. And then um, we also need to contact the person that's going to come out and check and see about that wall and if there's potential structural damage. So that's where we're at right now. Well, I was going to end the vlog, um, but I just thought I might as well just make it a, a longer vlog. But look what happened. We got some grass. I'm so excited. <laughs> Probably not supposed to walk on it though, so. Probably shouldn't have Milo on it. Don't get on there. Ah, ah, ah. Get off of that. Off. Hey! Leave it alone. <laughs> Okay, I feel like we're probably supposed to stay off the grass, okay? So let's come over here. Uh, uh, get off the grass. Come on. Don't run on the grass. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Man, today has been super busy. So I think... So I showed y'all how we got the grass put in today, which was really awesome. Our yard guy actually did it for free. He had some leftover grass from another job, and so he just put it in our backyard, and we desperately needed it. I know we're moving out, um, but it was actually something that I was a little bit concerned that they would try to like charge us for it or something like that. So um, it looks really great. He didn't give us any, like, care tips though so if you know what to do when you get grass let me know i'm assuming we have to need to water it and keep milo off of it um so we'll be making sure to do that um i went up to the shop and jonathan and i went over the inspection report and typed everything up and prioritized it just like we did for the other house where it's like high concern medium concern low concern or whatever um and then I was sending a bunch of emails to the mortgage broker people 
And then I had to run to Walmart and get some ranch dressing because we're having wings tonight. I'm so excited. I love, I love chicken. Like, I don't know what it is about keto, but I guess because we eat a lot more red meat than we used to, um, I really enjoy when we have chicken. So um, I'm making homemade wings tonight. Um, we're not going anywhere. I'm making them. And so we needed some more ranch dressing. And then I went and returned that bathing suit that was too small. And I can't remember if I mentioned it to y'all or not, but I did get the bigger one. It came in yesterday and I tried it on and I just don't think it's meant for my body type. And I don't know. I don't really want to show y'all because I think I'm going to try to wear it this summer and I don't want anyone to tell me that it doesn't look good on me because I want, like I want to build up my courage to be able to actually wear it and I feel like if I post it on here and show y'all like where I'm leaving it up for y'all to like critique me that somebody might say, even in the nicest way, that somebody might tell me that, you know, it's a cute bathing suit but it's just not really flattering or whatever the case may be and I don't really care so I want to really try to step out of my comfort zone and allow myself to wear this bathing suit it's not the end of the world that my stomach shows and it's gonna be okay so I'm probably not gonna actually show y'all um, I'm sure you'll see it because I'll be wearing it this summer and I vlog during the summer so um, I mean y'all know that if you don't know, you should check out my vlogs from last summer. I love to go swimming. I love being in the water. So I'm in my bathing suit a lot. And I just feel like I, I'm still overweight. But what I choose to wear on my body, as long as all of my bits and pieces are covered, then if my stomach sticks out, it's really not any of your business. And that goes for everyone i just feel like as long as you have your nipples and your genitals um, covered they're not exposed then i really don't think that you should concern yourself with how other people dress that's just my opinion so um but yeah so i returned the two small bathing suit um and now i am hopefully going to be able to sit down and just take a breath because it's been busy 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 and I'm ready to relax so I think I'm gonna do that and I will see y'all at dinner husband you're home I see you it's huh now I definitely see you Give the vlog a kiss. I wish I would have taken video of these before I put them in the oven. So they're cooked um, for an hour and a half. But they're like so full of water because they're frozen that they're like, I mean, they're like double the size. It's crazy how much they shrink. But now I'm just going to put them in a container. And I have this wing sauce from Walmart. Mild wing sauce. And I'm just gonna toss them in the container and I'm gonna put mine back in the oven to crisp them up, but Jonathan will eat his like this. Here's Jonathan's plate. Um, I do the flats and he does the, whatever these are, drums, or whatever they call them. And mine are back in the oven because I like mine super crispy. So I have like another 10 minutes for mine. All right, guys, finally going to wrap up the vlog for real. Um, I feel like it was just a whole bunch of me telling y'all what I've been doing. <laughs> um, but that's how it goes sometimes. Sorry there was no vlog yesterday, um, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and get this one edited and everything and eat a little bit of Halo Top. There's little, literally less than one serving left in this. So this is the peanut butter cup. It's really good if you've never tried it. 
Um, it has it has like six net carbs per serving, depending on how you track it or whatever. But I don't really care. I don't eat it very often. So, anyways, all right. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments or questions down below. I haven't said that in forever. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. We are now in contract on the house. Um, the first one that we went and saw on Saturday. So. Fingers crossed and light a candle and say a prayer and all that kind of stuff that... Um